I'm Lincoln, and this is my Lab 9 for Mechatronics. So let's imagine you've connected your phone directly to a speaker, and you've got this noise level right at zero, and this volume level from zero to 100%. We'll just say 100% is right there. Uh, so you can range this volume in here, and you get a certain signal. It's not super loud, but it's decent for what you need. Okay, now you need a louder signal. Uh, so you purchase an amplifier. That's, that's that little thing right there. Uh, and that introduces some noise, so there's now some noise level. So now when you're ranging from zero to the, your volume from before, you just you hear a ton of noise. And that's that's not great for your listening experience. But then once once you get up here, that, that's fine, you don't really hear the noise. So what uh, this project is going to do is to automate uh, bypassing this amplifier. So from zero to 100%, we're going to leave the amplifier off. And then as soon as we get 100% volume, we're going to uh, turn on the amplifier, and then we can range the volume up from here. So, uh, to sense what uh, volume we want, I, I have a few different ways of doing that. Uh, the first is a very simple potentiometer, which is not the most complicated version of sensing, but you can hear the audio gets louder as I turn up the potentiometer. This is not a normal potentiometer, though. Of course, we can read from it and display on processing. Um, so we've got that value there. I'll, I'll zoom out, you can see that value, and then you can see the potentiometer. So take a look at the potentiometer when I go over with my mouse and I control the volume from reading uh, the, the position, right? So you can also control the uh, real-life potentiometer with the uh, software control there. That's great for um, music production. That's just a super, super convenient thing. You can then automate it using, uh, using your music software. Um, that that's uh, invaluable in the music industry to just have that have that extra control with software. Um, so basically, you can control it from here, and it's going to update on processing right there. But then you can also control it from processing, and it's going to update over there. But then you'll notice that got pretty loud. Um, so at 100% volume, you probably can't really hear it too well. I'll see how the video turns out here. But just trust me that there's no noise. There's no noise from this 0 to 100% signal. And then you're going to have to trust me again. As soon as I go right above 100%, we've got uh, a little bit of noise introduced. Uh, but now, now it's a little bit louder, right? And now we can go even louder. Um, and, and there's going to be that, that noise, but it's fine. All right, the next question becomes, when do we, um, when we, when we switch on the amplifier, right? How do we keep this volume the same on the, so that the slider is accurate, right? So in that case, we need to turn down the input signal um, so that we output the same volume after amplification. So we're going to go to 100% volume. On the, so now, now this is the, the, um, the control and this is the output, right? So we're going to, um, we're going to say, okay, we're going up, we're going up. And then we get to 101% volume and we go back down and then it's going to go up again uh, just so that there's no disparity in the perceived volume from 100 to 101%. Like there's, there's the, just a 1% difference. So what we're going to do is a little bit of calibration. So you just have to press this button and go into calibration mode and it's going to use a sine wave. Measure that sine wave with a microphone uh, right in front of the speaker and it's going to um, read that, that loudness over time, and then it's going to uh, find at 100% volume what is that loudness, right? It finds that value uh, sort of as an average, then it switches on the amplifier, turns down the volume a ton, makes that same measurement. It compares to the 100%, and it makes uh, it, it changes this calibration value if it doesn't match. So if it's too high, it turns down the calibration a little bit, turns up the calibration if it's if the, the um, amplified volume is too low, and then it finds that sweet spot so that you, you've got pretty much the same 100% and 101% volume. So uh, that is how it calibrates. This is a really fun project to make. It encompasses all of Mechatronics. Then I'm going to actually use uh, what I've developed here. That's about it.